I'm Miss Amy from New City Library, and we're reading books about the election, voting, and the president. Today my story is I Voted, Making a Choice Makes a Difference by Mark Schulman, and I'm reading it with permission from Holiday House. Which do you like better, apples or oranges, markers or crayons, trampolines or swimming pools? Some choices are easy to make, ice cream or onions. Some choices are harder, ice cream or cupcakes. Anytime you choose one thing instead of another, you can say that you voted for it. When you're the only one voting, you tend to get what you want, but people usually vote together. Imagine you're choosing a classroom pet. Everyone will be voting. And the pet you'll all get is the pet that most people vote for, even if it isn't the one you wanted. So if you want your choice to win, here's what you can do before everyone votes. You can let people know which choice you want. You can work with the people who want the same thing. You can talk to the people who want something different. Maybe you will change their mind. Maybe they will change yours. Then when it's time to vote, you vote. It's simple. Sometimes everyone knows what you choose. Sometimes it's a secret. but everyone's vote must be counted. And the winner is whatever got the most votes. Maybe your side will win and maybe your side will not. But if you don't vote, you don't get to choose and your vote might be the one that makes the difference. Win or lose, when everyone follows the rules, voting is fair for everyone it's the same when grown-ups vote. Grown-ups vote for the people who help run our towns, our cities, our states, and our country. They would be mayors, governors, representatives, senators, or even the President of the United States. These people pass laws that can change the way we live. So we have to choose our leaders carefully because different leaders want different things. Some will do things you really, really like. Some will do things you really, really don't. That's why it's important to choose the leaders we want. So we vote. We vote for candidates. A candidate is someone asking for your vote. How do you know which candidate will make the best choices? You listen, you read, you talk to the people you trust. Sometimes you can even ask the candidates yourself. When election day finally comes, everyone goes to the nearest voting place. Once you've had your 18th birthday and your name is added to the list of voters, you can vote too. At every voting place, everyone stands in line. Everyone finds their name on the voter list. Everyone votes for a candidate and someone wins. If you're old enough, it's important to vote. If you're not old enough, you know what to do. Listen, read, talk, ask, and tell someone who's old enough to bring you along on election day. And when the voting is done, you might get a sticker. And that sticker will say, I voted. The end. Mark Schulman did a really great job explaining what voting means and how we do it. I hope you enjoyed it.